Hi there. Here's a thought for you. What do the plow and the printing press have in common? Well, both are inventions that completely change the world without actually enabling something that couldn't be done before them. Take the plow. When it was invented, people already knew how to farm small areas, but with the plow, they could cultivate much larger areas and suddenly economies and whole societies were born. Or take the printing press. When it was invented, scribes have already been diligently copying manuscripts for thousands of years, but suddenly written material could be distributed in huge quantities and literacy became widespread. Why am I mentioning this? Because like the plow and the printing press, Bitcoin is yet another example of an invention that may radically transform the world without actually enabling anything that couldn't be done before it. Bitcoin represents a paradigm shift that could reshape societies by returning sovereignty to individuals and by empowering small communities. It is a network that could fundamentally change money to such an extent that the ramifications are nearly unimaginable. And that is why today I publish plans to scale Bitcoin so that it has the bandwidth for everyone to make transactions as often and as quickly as they need. Bitcoin is the most egalitarian form of money ever created. It was born in a pure egalitarian act, an unparalleled initial distribution of great fairness. And it wasn't built by big finance or within the citadels of academia, but rather by a bunch of cryptographers, ideologists, cyberpunks and hobbyists who believed in a decentralized, censorship-free future in which individuals and small communities reign supreme. Bitcoin certainly changed the way that I think of finance, and I think it may very well change the way that you and everyone thinks about finance, autonomy, and the role of the so-called trusted establishment. How exactly should Bitcoin evolve? Well, there are many different views, but one thing they all share in common is that we all agree that Satoshi Nakamoto's vision needs to reach more people. Bitcoin needs to scale. If it does, it'll be viewed from the future as one of the most important advances in human history, alongside money itself and the written word. After all, for the first time in human history, there is a way to create a truly inclusive global economy. At Starkware, we've already helped scale the Ethereum blockchain and we will certainly continue doing so. But we are now planning to go ahead with exciting plans for scaling Bitcoin as well. Starkware developed ZK Starks, the technology that powers Starknet, a layer two on Ethereum. What many people don't know though, is that Stark scaling for blockchains originated at a talk that I gave at a Bitcoin conference in early 2013, 11 years ago. Back then, I spoke about Stark cryptographic proofs, and many in the audience told me that this cryptographic research was exactly what blockchain needed. At the time, Bitcoin wasn't ready for Starks for a bunch of reasons. But now, there's a potential to imagine and uncover a world of possibilities for layer 2 scaling on Bitcoin. A Bitcoin upgrade by the name of Taproot was implemented, and research has showed that it can lay the foundations for the kind of thing we are planning. We have spoken to various teams and developers about the opportunities that this unlocks. We've also been encouraged by the BitVM white paper, which outlines a path for bringing smart contracts onto Bitcoin. In April, the OPCAT proposal was granted an official Bitcoin improvement proposal number, which brings such developments much closer to reality. With this in mind, we will launch a $1 million fund to offer grants to those who contribute proofs of concept and provide new research into maintaining Bitcoin security with OPCAT. Details on this fund will be announced next week. We already have the tech that can give Bitcoin the scaling jump that the printing press gave to the written word. In fact, Starks are doing this today on Ethereum as I speak. Now our goal is to bring everyday payments to Bitcoin for every citizen of the world simultaneously. To date, Bitcoin has been rightfully cautious with its upgrades 
After all, we are working on a 100-year timescale. And Bitcoin is certainly needed for the future, but it's also needed now. People ask whether Bitcoin can be both sound money and censorship free. I'm here to tell you that it can and must be. Ours is a global initiative and we'd love to hear global feedback. So please take a look at the post. If you have thoughts, share them with our team. Together we'll get there. Blockchain and Bitcoin for all. Thank you.